Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to make two aluminum F-bombs. These are both made out of polystyrene foam. I carved them out with my CNC. Let me show you. I created the design in a free program called Inkscape, and then I loaded the program into my Fox Alien CNC router to carve out the pattern. I carved out two pieces, the base and then an extra fin. And when the other fin was finished, I just slid it over top of the base just like this. Oh, and I also dabbed some glue in between to make it stick. Once the pattern was finished, I added some joint compound that I mixed in with some water and dabbed it over top of the foam, let that dry overnight, and then it's ready to cast. In today's Metal Melt, I am using the Viver 12kg propane furnace. I'm going to put some cardboard down before putting the crucible. This helps prevent the crucible from sticking to the block. When the crucible is loaded into the furnace, it's now time to hook up the propane to the fuel line. Open the fuel and adjust the regulator to about 5 psi. That's where I like to keep it. Now we're ready to light the furnace. Now that the furnace is lit, I'm going to perform the lost foam casting process. I'm going to take the foam patterns that I made before and I'm going to bury them in a steel bucket with dry sand. The sand has to be dry because if the sand is wet, it will now ruin the plaster coating that you put on those foam patterns. Also, it might end up getting some sort of steam explosion and we don't want that. So we just bury the foam in the sand, vibrating the container as we go up to really get a good compaction of sand around the foam pattern. Fill the can all the way to the top, and once you get to the top, we are going to add a pouring cup over top of each one of the foam pieces sticking out. This is where we're going to be pouring the molten aluminum into. Now that that's finished, let's go check on the furnace, see if it's hot enough, and we're going to start adding the aluminum. If you haven't seen in my previous videos, I've been melting down this aluminum here for a couple of weeks now. This is from a greenhouse that was given to me from a friend, and I just can't seem to melt enough aluminum to get rid of all of it. So every week I am continuously just melting and melting and melting the same aluminum, trying to get rid of it. I just can't get rid of it fast enough. Before handling the crucible with your pouring tongs, make sure to warm them up first.
We out here in Mountain Metal, and I have a lot of aluminum. Now, if you guys want to get yourself a Viva Furnace, make sure to check the description below. Click the affiliate link. Use that coupon code to save 5%. All right, so we're out in the garage. I'm gonna put this in my vise to stabilize it so I can use my hacksaw to cut off the sprue from the F-bomb. If you notice, there's a little tab left on the F-bomb and I'm going to use that to slide into a piece of pine that I carved out with my CNC. But before I even get to that, I'm going to use a wire wheel to clean it up and make it look nice. And I think they both came out exceptional. 
I'm not going to use any sandpaper on these. I'm just going to leave them as they are. I think they look fantastic just like they are here. Now I'm going to use a number 832 drill and tap set to tap the hole in the bottom of this for the number 8 screw that I have. Now I'm carving out the square that I said before, cutting a little notch in the center to allow the F-bomb to recess into it and kind of lock it into place. Once both pieces are finished, now it is time to stain the wood and fasten the F-bomb to it using a number 8 screw. They are both complete and the one that I have here has a cherry wood stain to the base and the other one has a stain called Ipswich Pine. I think they both came out fantastic and I hope you guys think so too. And if you do, make sure you leave a comment and give it a thumbs up for me. I'd really appreciate it. Stay tuned for my next video.